Kaylee, it's good to have you with me tonight, Dancing with Love. How you been, Kaylee? I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here. It's exciting to have days like this one. It's like, I always say, like, holidays in July, right? Like, we just got done with the 4th, and you talk about softball, and we get that little itch for, like, more a few months in between, like, fall ball and when spring ball kicks all over again. Just got done with the World Series. But today, um, I'm going to give you guys something to keep you going for a while. Um, we've been obviously huge fans of this this amazing coach in their program for a very long time fresh off the recent women's college world series appearance in my opinion just in that mount rushmore or this coach you know obviously gasso and in my opinion coach g and then you know it's just that top of the top of the top right so fresh off a world series a, a returning almost perennial it's an honor to get down to it and bring on coach lonnie coach lonnie how you doing I am great. Thank you. Those are a lot of great words. So thank you very much. But I'm great. Thanks for having me. All true. So we've got some questions, Coach. I know you're always busy. I mean, you're doing uh, international tournaments right now. Just always busy. So Kaylee and I have some questions that we're on past you. Have a little fun. And we'll yep. get you some time back in your day. So, Coach, when we think about you as a as a, as a a coach, the Mount Rushmore, like we said, of working for Florida State and all of that, taking back in the day, even before college, was there a team maybe you started with, even Little League? When did it all begin for you? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I used to do some pitching lessons uh, in high school in order to pay for my ability to have lessons. And so I think not realizing that coaching was maybe a thing, but now looking back at it, definitely uh, had a lot of opportunities to coach little kids. And even in Norman, when I was at the University of Oklahoma, working with some little kids in the Jitterbugs organization, it was pretty awesome. So um, always giving back uh, and growing. It's been pretty cool. Yeah, you were so cool about talking about growing the sport. And that's what Dana and I and Kaylee and, and Caitlin talk about a lot is giving back to the sport. And it's, honestly, it is. And I'm not trying to be too fanboyish. I love it that at the top of your game, you're still thinking about the next generation. That is what impressed us about you. The most successful teams like yourself, you're always thinking about the next, the next kid, like the next athlete. And I just set out to, so I really appreciate that. Uh, Kaylee, I know you got that second one. If you want to go for it, Kaylee, the question too. Yeah, so I was just wondering, uh, why softball after so many seasons back to back what still makes you want to show up every day the kids um you know I think if you're I mean everyone talks about their whys you know but like I think if you're inspired by the growth of the kids then you don't get frustrated with the outcome you know so I think if you're always hunting outcome it just really is hard to stay in the process piece of it and so you know, we always talk as a staff, uh, we're a year older and wiser and we've been through the game, but they come in at 19 and 18, 19, 20, you know, they're still young and they're still figuring out life and they do the normal freshman things that freshmen do. And if you can't be inspired by their growth by the time they leave, um, it get really gets tough, you know? And so I think that that's one thing that I enjoy is just, you know, how they grow as a, as a person through the game. And we get to be a part of that. That's awesome. So you'd say just kind of Kaylee has a little something we call Kaylee's Corner, where it's about mental development and, you know, being a being a person outside of sports. Right. So you're kind of that I think as successful as you are, you're more happy with what they're doing in life. And that's I've heard so many coaches say that is we care about just much off the field. It's on the field. That, that's awesome. So, yeah, the influences you have on these kids, which goes so far and so deep. Obviously, we we see it every day, even here in Kansas, just watching your drills and some of the things you do, and even some of the the team builders you have with your kids. It's insane. So, obviously, the influence that they ha you have on them. Who's been the biggest influence on you as a coach? Would you say in your career, though, over the, over the years? Who's been the biggest yeah. influence on you. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. I, you know, I honestly, like, I can't really like pinpoint like one person or one situation, but I think the, the fact that the, the players, I keep learning from the players and the teams, every team is different every year. And so when you um, maybe not make it as far as you want to make it and you go back and reflect on yourself and then reach out to different people. So um, that's, what's so great about sport is we can continue to reach out to different people. And so um, I've been so lucky to, to connect with, you just keep filling your bucket with different ways. And so I think that the game allows that to happen for you. And then, you know, I think if you're willing enough to reflect on it, be like, what can I do better? And then go and find that piece and then try to be better next time around. So mm -hmm. I just, I'm, I appreciate sport. I think sport is so great. I love Absolutely. it. Kaylee, she said something about fill your bucket and that stands out to me. Kaylee, I like that, you know, Kaylee. So yeah, but Kaylee, that next one I think is, is your question. So. Uh, yeah. So next question I would have would be what's next? What's it looking like in terms of, you know, next upcoming year for you in terms of FSU? Yeah. So, uh, we lost a lot of contributors, especially in the circle. 
Um, you know, and so we were very lucky to have, um, you know, Kat Sandra caught grow throughout her years there. Mac Leonard come in. I mean, those two were pretty key for us at the World Series. Ali Dubois was huge for us. So those three graduated. Uh, then you look at Mac and BK at first base, uh, Josie at shortstop. I mean, there's a lot uh, that left there. And so how do you um, get the mindset to to rebuild, you know, a team or you just uh, look at team 41 and now next man up, you know, the next person yeah. gets to step up and get after it. And so um, so I think that's next for us is really build that culture, but then, you know, got to get after some skill sets. And so that's what we're working on right now is how we can be really good with our skill set piece. I love that. It's such a powerful answer. And I think it's like, that's what we as, as, as hungry fans want to hear and all that is that you're just never, it doesn't really matter. Even though we have the max and the cats are just great. You're, you're already on the next, like you have somebody, you're teaching the next person. And that's what yeah. it's, it's coaches that do that. It doesn't matter if it's, captain or a person that we might not know the name yet coach all of is going to get it done you always do yeah. so it's really cool <laughs> so Kay- kaylee and i we laugh at this part so the hopefully in interviews you've had we do a little segment called rapid fire to make you laugh we bet on this okay these are things yeah, you okay. may not have ever heard before They're, now our fans are okay. great they scroll the internet for the weirdest things you can think of okay um no it's yeah. clean but they're weird i love it okay yeah. I got good thing. yeah so these got questions it. kaylee and i bet kaylee you got your picks you ready on this i'm kaylee? ready Yep. So wh- whoever wins gets lunch provided by the loser of these rapid fire silly questions. So first one, you're going yeah. out game one, which we know next year you'll be there. Women's College World Series is game one. You're going to be there and they're asking you to greet the fans, walk out. You're going to throw the first pitch somehow. And you have to sing a karaoke song while you throw the first pitch. You have mm. to sing a song from the Flash Dance soundtrack or the Footloose soundtrack on TV. Which one are you going with? Oh, footloose, full on, footloose. <laughs> Got it, got it loose. Hey, got it loose. I didn't have that one. Yep. Kaylee, do you have that? You have that, Kaylee? Yep, I had that one. That's one point ah, for me. Darn it. Okay. Yep, sure did. So ne- next one, Lonnie. We're That's still a classic. That's, it is a classic, I, I had, right? I had, I had flash dance. I really did. So, yeah. okay. Next one. So you're at the same game and you're you're doing a mound visit, okay? Like, it, you know, we're all watching, always want to figure out what you're saying. You have to walk up. And you have to coach your starting pitcher using lyrics from White Snake or a song by Bon Jovi. You can only give them lyrics as the coaching. Yeah. Who are you going with? Yeah, yeah, Bon Jovi by far. Bon Jovi. Okay, no? one for one. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, I missed one. that one. Okay. I missed that one. <laughs> Got you. Next one. So in this, we're we're kind of building this around a game. You're at, you're allowed to pick between two of these celebrities to be a celebrity umpire for the game. Okay. Yeah. You're picking either. Uh, Steve Martin or Robert De Niro, who's your celebrity umpire for this game? Oh my gosh, Steve Martin. Comedy. Dang it, man. I, I love the three. <laughs> there you go. I got that one. <laughs> you did? Okay. I mean, we like to smile and laugh at our game a lot, right? Right, so, right. Yeah. yeah. He's fun. I, like I would have picked him too. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Next one. This is the last one. We actually gave you uh, yeah. just four. So, just much like the Space Jam movies and things like that, Coach Lonnie gets to make her own version of a softball Space Jam type thing. And we'll call, we don't have the title yet, working title. Are you taking characters for the Lonnie softball space jam deal from the Muppets or Looney Tunes? Who are you taking with you as your space jam crew? Yeah, I'm going Looney Tunes. I like the Looney Tunes. Yes. I give up. I was one for four. Kayla, how'd you do? There we go. I got that one. Yeah, I got it. I did pretty good. I got three for four. All right, Kayla, I'll send you some, I'll send you some taquitos, Kayla. You won that round. (laughs) So. Oh, okay. Man. So there you go, Kaylee. High five. Yes. Good stuff. I love it. So we'll have one more. Then Kaylee has a question for our coach that I'll give you some time back in your night. There's a little segment that we always ask our coaches and athletes and musicians to do. We kind of call it open mic. And what this really is, is your philosophy as a coach, as an athlete, as a mentor, maybe something if you're looking back at your career to tell your starting self a mantra, what's a piece of advice you give to someone who wants to be like you one day? Hmm. I mean, I think the the mantra that we live by, we, we have a gate we walk through every day and it's give your all to the team every day and whatever your team is. So Josh and Kaylee, it's your team, right? Like, can you be there for you every single day and put aside all the things that can bring you down the negativity, the whatever it is, you know? So I think that as a coach, a young coach, you really look to other people and you want to be them versus like continuing to be you and the best version of you. So mm-hmm. when you're walking through that office door or you're, field house, wherever you're going, like, can you just bring the best you? And that's really hard to do at times, a challenge, but um, definitely I think that's what really brings out the best version of yourself. And so now you become that elite coach that 
elite podcaster, that elite business person, because you're mm-hmm. generally who you are. I love that. There's a lot of coaches and kid before you take that last one, there's a lot of coaches and players to talk about people are, are drawn to genuine genuinity, if that's a word, authenticity, yeah. being yourself and yeah. people will surround themselves around people that are authentic. And I like that from day one, you've never strayed from who you are. You have a brand, you're very loving. People know you for who you are and it makes people want to come to you. And that's what we like to talk about is be you. I, I was hoping you'd say something along those lines. So I appreciate those words, coach. Thank yeah. you. So Kaylee, I'll give that last yeah. one to you before we give coach back some time. Yeah, uh, my question would be, as a coach, having so many games, after those tough losses, right, so maybe multiple losses in a row, how do you bounce back or how do you take a step back to reflect and see how you Mm -hmm. need to proceed next? Good. Yeah, I think, um, you know, when you look at the outcomes, there's a process to the outcome. So if our process is because we're giving up or um, we've got something going on with the team, I got to address it differently than the process of just sometimes you just lose games. Like that's just part of it. Sometimes like, Mm -hmm. you know, that's softball. So if it's softball, then we just move on and put our head in a pillow and we did the best we could. If it's attitude or frustration or something going on with the team or, you know, that we have to address, then that becomes a different story. Then we go in and we close the door, we have a meeting and and we figure it out. We move forward. So I think the the loss and the win are all pieces of the process. And so as long as your culture is tight and your process is good, then you can keep moving forward and just keep doing you. But if mm-hmm. you got issues, we have to address the issues. And that's, that's where that accountability comes in as the head honcho, but then as a team too, you're left and right. So important. I love that, man. That's, that's deep. Absolutely. And it's Kaylee, the, Kaylee, you talk a lot about that with your segment of Kaylee's corner. It's just a lot about the mental side and everything goes back to right. that. And even a loss on a, we always say a loss in softball is still better than a day of not playing softball at all. So we always look at it. So um, yeah. we'd rather be on the field, even if we lose. And you guys don't lose a lot, that's for sure. But I, I like the idea of like, again, just perennial powerhouse, year in and year out. Sometimes I've heard people say, Coach Lonnie, too, that it's almost when you're successful every year, that's almost got its own set of challenges because you're always used to being at the top, you know, the pressure of yeah. that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, Coach. I, I, and I appreciate you taking the time to do this. It's been an absolute joy. We've been tracking you down forever. I know you're super okay. busy. Um, even though we are from Norman, I'm born and raised. We do follow you. We root for you publicly. We have no problem <laughs> saying that. Um, I can't wait to see you back next year. I really think it's going to be a perennial thing. So good luck on, on the next year. Are you guys doing any fall ball tournaments at all coming up? Um, we play fall. Yeah, we don't do tournaments. We just play, you know, maybe a Wednesday or Friday and just kind of a again, try to get after and build those rookies, get them in the system. So, yeah, but thank you for having me and thank you for tracking me down. And it has been crazy. (laughs) I'm so glad this worked. We rocked it. We connected. We rocked it. We killed it. So we'll be in touch, coach. It's it's returning anytime you feel like it. We're a platform. We'd love to showcase you. So keep rocking out. We'll keep following you and you're welcome. Drop off and you have a great rest of your summer. Okay. Appreciate you. you Take care. Thank you. Take care, coach. Have a good one. Bye. So Kaylee, talk to me. I told you just what they always say the most successful teams like that, the most successful coaches are always the most kind and just, I don't know, Kaylee, what can I add to that? Can you say anything to that? I would definitely think it's back to what she was saying. And it's similar to what I like to talk about is about the person and Mm -hmm. it's not just the sport and the athlete. It's about the person behind that uniform, that mental side and how, ultimately we can adapt to the game. And that's, I feel like what she was talking about too, is like, even with the loss and, you know, adjusting to new players, it's a game of failure. So we need to always work on being able to adapt. And I think that's, what's really important. Wow. That was awesome. Talk about uh, just joining the team. I mean, I told you like that we have been tracking her down forever and just so kind. You know, I look at her coach G all these, in my opinion, these elite, just world renowned coaches, it's like they're your best friend next door. You know, they're so, and that's, I think why people flock to them because they know it's bigger than a game. And like she said, Oh, it's a loss. They're going to be there next year. We know they're going to be at the moment's called. They're going to be at the world's college series. They always are, you know? So um, that was a real treat. Thank you, Kaylee. Absolutely. For, uh, wow. So you guys, Kaylee and I want to say thank you. Uh, I'm glad Dayton. I was here. Yes. Always uh, as part of the show, coach Caitlin sends her love. She had to do some, uh, some drills. Um, we all know that softball 
even in an event where we're interviewing someone, every coach understands softball comes first if there's something. Um, we've got a staff. Dane's actually calling games for nationals right now in Iowa, so he's there. Um, so, again, Kayla, uh, Kayla and I were glad to make this happen and bring it to you. Got a lot of softball to come. Um, we have an episode with Coach Leah later on tonight, um, softball coach, um, or excuse me, so, a soccer coach getting things done. And then this next 20 days, Kaylee already had told me she was her mind was blown. We've got 30 interviews coming up in the next 10 days, Kaylee. So it's crazy. Right. <laughs> so, uh, it's packed schedule this Friday. We have actually uh, Travis Ortmeyer competi- a competition for what's called Strongman, World Strongest Man type stuff. So doing that um, this weekend, we got a lot of football and more softball coming up. Next week, we're going to hit Sarah from Georgia's coming by, and it's just on and on and on. The hits keep coming. So um, thanks again, Coach Lonnie, for taking time to do this. It's a, tr- it's a real joy. Um, we'll get this out to the world as soon as we can. And on behalf of Kaylee, Caitlin, Dane, and I, don't forget that we love you. And as always, always, thank you for listening. Okay.